So, Satya, when Scott and Ramona first start dating, all is fairly rosy, isn't it? 17-year-old schoolgirl aside, and then Matthew Patel literally bursts into their lives. What's his mission? Uh, Matthew's mission is to kill Scott Pilgrim. And I think that, as far as Matthew's concerned, there's only one evil ex necessary. I mean, the seven are just back up. Um, smash through the ceiling, throw some kung fu moves, levitate, shoot fireballs out of my hands, summon demon hipster chicks, sing a Bollywood song. I mean, you'd think that I'd be able to take him, but... Funnily enough, Scott Pilgrim manages to defeat me and, and moves on to number two, and subsequently number three. And you mentioned the Bollywood-inspired uh, musical number. How enjoyable was that sequence to shoot? Oh, that was a blast. Uh, we worked on the song. Me and Lisa, the choreographer, um, developed the moves ourselves, and I looked at a lot of Michael Jackson, a lot of Bollywood, and also uh, Prince Nassim for a lot of the foot moves and stuff like that. So there was a bunch of influences in there. It, it was a blast. And Brandon, you play another evil ex, Todd Ingram. I just wondered what his particular powers and maybe the, the source of those powers as well, which is kind of interesting. Right, yeah, Todd Ingram uh, is a ninth level vegan. Mm. So um, upon reaching the ninth level of, of veganity, uh, Todd has gained the power of telekinesis. So he can move about any object uh, just by thinking about it, I guess. Uh, and also can read minds. So something to look out for if you're uh, all those vegans out there. Get to the ninth level and you might get some superpowers. And he enjoys playing with his vegan food before he eats it, doesn't he, in terms of Scott. He likes to tease him before he actually like throws any punches. Yeah, you know, uh, you definitely, uh, you know, a lot of villains tend to do that, be, be very uh, ego, egotistical and to think that they can uh, defeat anyone very easily. So instead of just going straight for the kill, uh, he kind of, uh, you know, throws him about a little bit like a, a cat playing with a mouse. And Satya, um, Jason Schwartzman's described Michael Cera as half man, half Superman. I just wondered what you particularly admire about him as a performer and working with him. Yeah, I'd, I'd say half man, half monster. Um, uh, uh, no, working with Michael was brilliant. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't think that either of us are your, your standard action hero, unlike uh, Mr. Rath over here. And so I think that for both of us, this was a really big challenge. And um, I couldn't have imagined someone better to do it with because, uh, you know, learning the choreography with Michael and, and going through the fight, it was actually a lot of fun, um, despite, you know, early mornings and, and fists flying in your face. And Brandon, as Satya mentioned, you know, we've seen you as a superhero on screen in um, Superman Returns. Was part of the appeal of this project playing a supervillain? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, kind of poking fun at Superman a little bit, playing the complete opposite in, in, in Todd Ingram uh, was a lot of fun. And, and being able to do comedy and, uh, and work with Edgar Wright, all those things, you know, combined was uh, very appealing to me. And Satya, we've seen am some amazing movies from Edgar Wright, Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. In your view, why was he the ideal choice to direct this material? Well, well you know, there's a lot going on in this film. There's, uh, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of music, and then there's also like a really sort of very true, real coming-of-age story, learning that, you know, it's worth taking a few hits in order to fight for the thing that you love. And I think that Edgar's got an amazing talent of... Um, being able to set things up clearly, get you in a very specific place, and then move you on from it. Oftentimes, directors will get you in a really specific place, but then it's really hard to get out of it, and so you move on to like the next thing, and you've got lingering memories of the last scene. Edgar's really good at these very clear, distinct sections, the way he uses sound, the way he uses editing. So I think for this film, it was essential that you had a director who could do all of these multiple styles, but also then move on from them, and Edgar's really good at that. So. Satya Barber and Brandon Routh, thanks very much. Thank thanks, you. man.